The final race on Derby Day, race number 10, is named after Rapper Dragon, of course, the only horse so far to complete a clean sweep of the four-year-old series. Headed by Insatia, who's back in class, tries the course and distance for the first time. Tornado twist down in class as well, gets the wide gate barrier 14. Happy Fun likes to roll forward, run up on his last two starts, thinking big. First up since June, Grant van der Kirk in the saddle from Barrier 1. Harmony Hero back in class as well. He was a winner two starts back. We've got Saddle Choice up in class. Class 2 for the first time. Smart winner, course and distance last time out. Circuit 3 also into class 2 for the first time. He's won 3 or 4 this season. And down to taking aim very close to a class drop. Of a mark of 81, Matthew Chaddock writes him for John Moore. Now, as far as the horses on the road are concerned, more than lucky in Circuit 3 are the ones that have been up um, at Chung Fra back within the last 30 days. We've made our way across to the touch screen to have a look at the speed map here and some of the key races as well. And as far as the speed is concerned, uh, Tom, we're looking sort of towards the inside and the outside, uh, really, with more than lucky trying to cross, maybe. But happy fun with the, the lower draw. Probably more likely to, to find the rail in the front. Yeah, I think we'll see him dictate from the front to Purton on the happy fun. This horse here, more than lucky, he's got that awkward draw of gate number nine, so he's going to have to try and spear across. I don't think he'll try and uh, take him on. Uh, more than lucky, uh, happy fun. Taking aim is down there on the inside. Seattle Choice should get a, a nice run. He was a really good winner last time out. This horse here, uh, buddies, he's got an awkward gate of uh, 13, which makes it a little tricky for uh, him. Starshine, we know he likes to uh, get back and circuit three. He might just be uh, one spot closer uh, there on the inside if he can uh, fill in that uh, blank area there. But uh, happy fun and Zach Purton uh, from the outset. All right, maybe setting the uh, what's related is a, a strong tempo. Good race to finish the program, Paul. Well, yeah, really good. And here's one of the major chances. Happy fun. He'll be straight out in front. Uh, he's just had a nice jump out down the back straight here. So a uh, nice bit of even work for him. Uh, he looked, he's, if anything, he's keen to get a little bit, go a little bit faster. From barrier four, you know exactly what you're going to get with him. He'll be straight to the front. Catch me if you can. Thinking big, I just thought I'd show him because he's only had the one start. And now he's with Douglas White. Here is uh, Douglas on board as well. Barrier one for him. Now, they tried to rush him into the derby, but couldn't. they ran out of time, basically. So he's in this race. And uh, Seattle Choice, nice piece of work from him. He was very impressive at his last start, wasn't he? So uh, his work's been good since, and uh, he's working well. All right, we'll come back to, uh, to Thinking Big in due course. Let's start off, though, with uh, Circuit 3, who's won his last three as well, uh, with jockey Chad Schofield. Circuit 3, Chad, were there a few nervous moments in the straight when you tucked up behind horses? Um, briefly. Um, we, we had to wait a bit longer than, than I would have liked, but we got the run and he burst through. Um, again, we drawn on the inside, which is, I don't think, any disadvantage. Um, if we get the, bl the, the brakes at the right time, he's got the turn of foot to, to get out of trouble. So um, He's up in grade now, but um, he's a horse who's really matured into a lovely animal, and let's hope he can keep winning. How much more improvement is there, do you think? Hard to say, but he, he just keeps winning really well, so I, I don't see why there's, there's any reason to say he can stop now. And when you look at the race as well, you've got happy fun in the race, um, also buddies. Looks to be good speed on. Do you think you'll get the race run to suit? Yeah, I think that'll be good for him because obviously um, there'll be the field will be split up and they'll be rolling along and um, he's got a really good turn of foot when the speed's on. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to ride him. Yeah, and off the lightweight as well, if he gets some clear run, as Chad said, one of his main... Um, you know, strengths is his turn of speed. Yeah, he can really, as you can see in that clip there before the way, he was able to get through that uh, gap and winning four of his last five starts, he's in really good form. Uh, up in class here, lightweight. Um, what's he in the market? Uh, 5.7, I think it's a good price at the moment. Yeah, he's come up a, a decent price and look, he's going really well. He's had a great season and this is his breakout season really, isn't it? All right, well, let's have a look at uh, some of the rivals um, here, starting off with, uh, well, he's happy fun down on the inside. He eventually finishes in uh, second spot. He is run down here. Uh, we've got Starshine out wide in the red cap. He runs third. Tornado Twist in the blue, eventually fifth. Racing Fighter, the grey, looking for room down there um, on the inside. So, and then more than lucky, in w weakens out of it to a certain extent. It's 11th and uh, Uncle Steve uh, here in the, uh, the white. So a little bit to, uh, to take in, but who do we focus on? I think uh, the happy fun, uh, he's the main chance, I thought, in this race. I mean, more than lucky, he sort of pestered him the whole race and then dropped out. Now, he's drawn wide, so he'll probably pester him again. But in saying that, um, you know, I think hep, uh, happy fun 
with that inside barrier draw, get the first run. Happy uh, Uncle Steve looked really good last season, but he hasn't really come up as well this season. So uh, he's one to keep an eye on in the race, though. We know that Zach's got a good association with the Happy Fun. Like the way that Starshine was getting home there, he can do that. Uh, he hasn't won too many races through his career, but he's got a, a reasonable record from his just his 15 starts. All right. So this um, possibly, arguably, his biggest rival here, Circuit 3, um, in Seattle. Choice, um, only lightly raced still, but this was a super win. Oh, look, he won really nicely, didn't he? He was right on the pace there and he ran away and uh, won like he, like he wanted to. Um, really good run from him. He's got a little bit of an awkward draw in 10. We did see that speed map, but there is a spot for him one out, one back. If he can slot into that and do this again, it's going to be a really good race because Circuit 3 is in good form as well. Not a bad form race as well. That smoothie's weakening out to be fourth there on the inside. There was another one that came out of this race as well. I think Sunshine Warrior was in that race there as well and has since won. So, uh, look. The, the win was very impressive, it was hands and heels. Yeah, let's take what you need running second as well, who runs earlier on, so he might give us a, a leg up of sorts. Um, also sort of finishing in the middle of the pack here, assimilate, you can see him just looking for room um, at this stage in the uh, the red, white and black. He eventually finishes fifth, we've got Taking Aim, who runs in sixth place, and uh, Racing Fighter again, this time out wide. Yeah, of course, uh, assimilate, he's not been running badly at all, he got the win uh, two starts ago, Curtis for a good ride uh, from Zach over Seattle Choice, and then he ran into Super Wealthy uh, last time out, and it was uh, fifth in the, the race, uh, beaten one and three quarters. Uh, taking aim, he's close to a class drop, so I think he'd be uh, certainly better down there in class three, that's what his record is uh, suggesting. And the other one, racing fighter, he's very close to a class drop too. Yeah, he, he stayed on OK, the grey on the outside, it wasn't a bad run by assimilate. Uh, now, Zach's on happy fun, but Assimilate's only got 117, so that might have been the reason. Yeah, a little bit on the light side for him. Now, we're back at the trials here with um, Buddies, who eventually run second in this trial, and uh, Thinking Big, who's first up since June. I know when they bought this horse, they'd obviously been thinking about this year's derby, but actually running in the derby. They're there on derby day, but probably not in the race they'd, they'd hope for. Yeah, look, and, uh, he's an interesting watch, I think. I haven't got him in Thinking Big. I think it's just been a little bit rushed for him, but... I, you know, it'll be interesting to see how he, how he does go. They did want to bring him for the derby. Buddies has drawn wide, and for me, he's more of a dirt horse. Yeah, although he has um, got one win on the, the turf, but uh, I'd probably be looking for an all-weather uh, start for him. He, he stayed on fairly well in that trial. Thinking Big was pushed out. He's had a, a left-front suspensory, a suspensory injury. Um, and the trial I thought was just fair. They've put the crossover noseband on him. Yeah, now with Douglas White as well, previously with Frankie Law, beaten favourites um, in the uh, Victorian derby. Uh, what did you do in the last then, Paul? I went with uh, Saddle Choice. I thought it was a very strong win from him last time, and he can go on with it. He just needs to slot in and get a bit of luck. Uh, circuit 3, obviously the hardest to beat. Happy fun from the front and star shine, finishing off late. Nice race, 10-12-4-8. Sticking with Circuit 3, he's been the most impressive with what he's been doing so far, racking up the wins, so he's on top to beat uh, Seattle Choice. Happy fun, number 4 and 8, Starshine. 12, 10, 4, 8. Yep, uh, 12, 10, 4 for me as well. They're the three numbers I think you need to concentrate on in the last. Now, as far as the stats are concerned, we're looking at Zach Burton. He's record over the 2,000 metres, Bob. Yeah, it's a really good stat, isn't he? He's had the 41 rides since 2017-18 season. He had 15 wins, 7 seconds, 4 thirds for a 37% win rate. Incredible. So it's really amazing, isn't he? And he's got um, more than this in the derby. Yeah, so the right one. <laughs> so there we go. He's got uh, another good ride in he the has. other 2,000 metre race as well, Andrew. Yeah, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, your best bet? I'm going to go with Gift of Lifeline in race number nine. Uh, I just think this horse is, well, is drawn to get a really good run. He's got a good turn of foot. And I think he can win race nine. And the long shot coming up early, race two, number 14, Fantastic Boy uh, is the long shot. And if you have a look at the player of the day in the ninth there, all in mind, take what you need and Gift of Lifeline. Righto, settling in the last race with Circuit 3, race 10, number 12. Tony Cruz and Chad Schofield, the Valley Runner, over 2,000 metres, super fast. Manfred Mann and Vincent Ho having his fourth run here. And the play will double back a Seattle Choice Circuit 3 in the last and include Happy Fun, Starshine and Assimilate. All right, best bet for me to improve. Zach Purton's record over the 2,000 metres, winning delight in race number 6 for Casper Founds and uh, Taylor made his niche way play. The first few races are very open, um, so uh, hopefully he can improve with the step up in trip. And the QQP in that sixth event, the 2,000 metre high rope winning delight and more than a horse. That is it then. Hopefully there's some winners involved in there.
enjoy Derby Day, boys. Yeah, it should be yeah. a fantastic day. Um, ten good races to look at. Um, some good races, certainly in the, the latter part of the card, but uh, the Derby is the one we're all looking forward to. Yeah, it's going to be a thriller, isn't it? And uh, Francis Loy, a nervous night's sleep for him. He's got two of the, the top two chances. He has golden 60 or more than this, but that's the show. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, we'll see you uh, on Sunday when we'll be racing to win for the BMW Hong Kong Derby.